right let's i'm showing what we're doing today we're doing this sort of thing okay i'll show you how to make this do you like that one that one is that one i think that looks amazing don't you well i did <laughs> until i did this one like that. okay i thought that was amazing i've used some metallics on on both of those yes i've used metallics as paint as well i haven't used it on this one but this is this is my favorite okay that is my favorite i'll show you how i did this as well you probably can see it's got lots of different so you can actually use um book page or as i did another rubbish script and printed it out on normal copy of paper you can use watercolour paper if you like as well and frame it <laughs> it looks great this is normal copy of paper that's wingdings i've done wingdings that's my rubbish script translated into wingdings it's upside down um how can i tell yeah i can tell <laughs> you can tell by them and then uh, these are zodiac signs i think some of them right and that that's an algerian script i don't think they've even actually used that one and this one i don't know it's something to do with fun or joke no it's not the joker one is it there's um and then there's a my favorite is actually the juice script so i've got i've printed all those out okay as well so and what i've done with the edges now i've some of them the edges i've managed to remember to make the margins a lot smaller but these edges are actually used to join this together okay but i'm not doing that today i'm not doing showing you how to do this today but i can show you how it is it came together and show you from start to finish but um it's on jody feet it's on it's a jody feet idea what she did was cut an envelope down there across there like that and then join this one on and then you what you do is fold that over fold that over then you put a closure there and you can wrap it all the way around i've got i've got another one there and it looks really nice but it's different to this idea okay but i love this i absolutely adore this this is like my absolute favorite my favorite piece and i'm going to do this today show you how to do it is this it's upside down i think it's upside down is it oh some of it's upside down that's upside down and um oh where's the other one I like? oh there <laughs> that one that one i'll show you how to do them all these i probably i will repeat because it's i'm doing a 12 by 12 and i'll just show you how to start and i'll just show you me doodling i might do a voiceover because that's fun okay and um i'll just show you how to um that's a different version of this oh oh i'm showing you what i'm using okay quickly what i'm using is mixed media watercolors and these i've just tested some paper some book page Oh, where's that one? Oh, it's gone. I've just tested some book page for you. Yeah, so I just tested the book page, normal book page, and that works fine. This is the, the sort of like that sort of paper that's very, you could easily tear that sort of book page. But it's really, really, it's a bit like um, sugar paper, isn't it? But a bit more refined. Yeah, that works really well. So I've just tried that. That's the sort of thing we're doing. Right, okay, so I'm going to move them over there. And I'll show you how I did the, uh, filled that in because I'm going to do it on here as a 12 by 12 design. I don't know whether I'm going to, sh I, 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 don't, I won't be sh able to share it as a 12 by 12 at the moment, but I might be able to share parts as a um, A4 type size, which you can resize um, if you've got the letter paper. Okay, and I'm showing that on Kofi possibly. Right, okay, so what I'm showing you now is this is how I'm doing it. Okay, I've just been making some, that's the one I used on the, and it, no. It doesn't matter if I've made a mess on that, that's fine. I'm just trying to use neutrals because normally I use a lot of colour. But I think those neutrals look absolutely stunning. And I'm not a neutrals type person. But anyway, I just used those two yesterday. I've just done that today for fun. But I did. I just used those two and made those colours. And I just kept adding little bits. And I don't rinse my brush, unfortunately. You can, of course. <laughs> yes, you can do that. So what I'm going to do now is not do it straight onto here. I'm going to collage, which is obviously a lot of fun. And what I used was just normally, <laughs> look at that, that's because I've put my pin on there. Uh, th I use this normally as, um, I'm just going to use this. Okay, and put it down. And you can, what you could do actually is what Jerry does is, she puts something, she just puts a little bit of glue there and then you can tuck things under if you like. I'm only using script. Um, and it doesn't matter what shape it is actually because I haven't got anything to go around like a window on this. Right, that's the wingdings. There we go. Wingdings. I've got wingdings. I've got. I don't know what that is. Some sort of comic script. I don't know if it's that comic sound. I don't know if it's that or not. Um, and Algerian. Uh, another um, wingdings. 
Uh, this is all my rubbish script translated into windings. That's quite thick, so I don't know if that's a bit of card snuck in there. Okay, and I've got, and I'm going to use these. You can use things like this as joiners if you're using, doing the envelope idea, actually. Yeah, that's a smaller version. Well, that's turned out smaller than the other one. Um, oh, is this juice? This is my favourite one, juice. Let's get it onto close up. Juice, that's the juice. Sorry, it's, it's shaking because it's not me. It's the... Um, now the house is shaking, so we just close the door. Right, that's that then. Okay, that's your that's your juice script. Okay, I love that. I love that stuff. So there'll be a bit of that in there and everything. So I'm just doing bits, and, it, and it's all white paper. It doesn't matter what colour it is. It's all white paper. I would suggest not using um, antique paper. Even more, even more tired now. I just took the dog out. <laughs> so if I'm out of breath now, you'll know why. Right. So the dog's been out with us. Uh, <laughs> panting away right so what i'm doing is i'm just ripping up some paper i'm done with a ruler actually i did uh, thought it was quite thick. that's quite thick paper actually <laughs> all these are different weights didn't print because it's a certain length it didn't print but we can always use that for joining you could also doodle on it as well Ooh, yeah. hey i could do some doodles with uh, that method so okay all i'm doing now is just ripping up some papers I've printed them all off from Word. So it's all my rubbish script. Just ripping just off the sides. I don't think I do this for long, hopefully. <laughs> As it seems a bit pointless. All right, it's a close up. I don't know if I've done that by accident somewhere. <laughs> anyway, it shouldn't be for close up soon. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, oh, that's okay. Right, this is a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Just ripping up the pieces of paper now to go on it. I get, try and use different ones. I'm just using white because obviously you'll, you'll see the reason I'm using white and how I do this. I probably got the idea from Creation CC. Not, she didn't do this. <laughs> I'm just saying I probably got the idea for the doodles. But obviously it's totally different to what I've seen her do. But it's just given me sort of an inspiration. Okay, it doesn't matter what I've got on the card. I'm using glue. I'm using it all over. Yeah, like this. Again, everything out of the way. Yeah, I always get things on there, don't I? Joining in. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know. If the, I don't do not know whether the cat joins in today. Yeah, I'm, um, that's a point. I don't think I mentioned that. But I'm using large print as well because I think that looks amazing. In fact, it looks a bit like it looks a bit like when you um, it's like a headline, doesn't it, off a uh, piece of um, a headline? Yeah. Okay. I'm just I'm just going to grab my if I can get it. What's that? <laughs> That'd have been funny, wouldn't it, if I fell over there? Right. I'm just grabbing it to see what I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, so I've got it the same way up. I, I decide after a bit that I'm going to do it different ways round. So at first I'm doing it all the same way round, and I thought, hold on a minute, I might not want to make it directional. So I'm doing it like so. I'm using different sizes, different pieces. It is a lot of fun, very relaxing to do this, especially when you don't have to use colour. But obviously we'll be using colour later. I'll be discussing what pens I'm using as well, which is very good and also the paint i'll be using as well because that's interesting okay yeah look at this long oh no, i've torn it off now long bit torn. i'm sticking it down i was saying um at one point that joey defee tends to uh just make a little um sticky bit in the middle then she can poke pieces of paper underneath i haven't done that i've not done that before um, but that does sound like a good idea if you want to try it. I'd never do that myself. As you can see, I just stick it all down. In fact, when I'm when I am paint when I'm is it when I'm I'm doing something later, I will be actually sticking little bits down as I go along. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm hoping you can hear me more than usual when I do voiceovers because. I am now using, and I'm hoping there's no buzzing. There wasn't when I tested it, so I hope there's no buzzing of the microphone. Okay. Yeah, so I'm using different size scripts. I'm using um, all sorts of different ones from Word. Um, it's such fun. But if you've got book pages, that's amazing. The reason I'm using my own um, 
is because I want to photocopy it and um, I want to um, give it to people, photocopy, you know what I mean, uh, scan it and uh, put it on my, hopefully put it on my Kofi. I haven't looked into that yet, so hopefully I can do that. But I'm going to make a project, I think, that's my intention, that I showed you, what did I show you in this video? Well, the envelope idea, yeah, it's different to what I did because I did that one wrong. Yeah, mm, yeah, mm, I do copy uh, Josie Jo Josie Joey D Fee's um thing there. Okay. Yeah, see I'm doing it different ways. I'm using wet glue, it doesn't matter at all. I'm using dry glue, wet glue, dry glue, uh, stick glue, stick well I suppose it's dry glue. Okay. Yes I'm um so I'm well gonna think about Joey D Fee at the moment while she's um coping with this illness or whatever she's going through. I know it's some sort of health problem she said she was going through. So please think of Joey. Which still I I do think thoughts do help. Okay. Right then, so I'm going through <laughs> just putting a little tiny bit just to fill that space. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, let's have a look at my thing. Yes, you can see them. It looks really, really good. Um, I'm looking at my thing now. In a minute, I think I think a bit later on I get a cup of tea. I've already got one. My husband brought me one in, but a bit later I get a cup of tea in the on the visual. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah. Um, come on, use a big, big print. Now. I'm using one about the same size. See, I'm using um, yes, all different sorts. And you can't always see them because when I colour with my white uni posca, it really does blank them out. But um, see, they're not all blanked out. You'll see. It looks really, really good. I don't actually finish this off on um, camera because it took me so long. I think it took me about three hours, actually. <laughs> but um, it was such fun probably didn't actually it's probably about two i'm just slow see that's upside down now i'm doing things upside down side that that was sticking up so i'm going to put i can add another little bit there and i can add another little bit as well yeah i'm going yeah i'm probably going to tear a bit off and put it there am i yeah <laughs> different script a different way around see it is a lot of fun you can use as i say you can book, book pages magazine you don't have to stick to white, but I have I am doing for a reason. So I thought it might show up better. <laughs> but um yeah, I think it's quite a good idea. Because if you notice on my I've done a video on flowers and it did junk ma junk mail and what I did was painted on that, uh painted on the junk mail paper with gouache and it worked really well. So you don't have to use black, you can use experiment and all sorts. And then some of you will experiment, some of them, some of you will, will want to do exactly what I do. Which is just tearing up paper and sticking it on, yeah. Mm. I thought it would make a little mask. Actually, I could use this as a master board as well. I could use this, I've got it in front of me now. It's got white on the back, which is a bit boring, isn't it? So I could put a bit of stenciling on the back. Okay, so it's a piece of white uh, 12 by 12. I was looking at 12 by 12 printers. I'm not sure whether you can scan with them, which is a bit no annoying. So I'd have to get it onto some sort of a um, digital <laughs> somehow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting me paint. Did you see that brush appear in my hand? That was amazing, wasn't it? Ooh. Right. <laughs> So there you've got, I'm just adding, as I said at the beginning, I'm adding neutrals. I'm just adding bits of colour which would make the neutrals. And that's like a brown, and brown yellow. And then I'll do greeny yellow and all sorts. Um, so if you do like neutrals, it looks great. If you like colours, do colours. I'm not um, very good at doing colours in a way but i like them if you saw those two things i did i did one in sort of lots of colors and one i'm actually adding pur i think i'm adding purple to this one purple and see some of the things i add orange and uh, green which i think is brilliant junk journal colors 
and I'm adding bits of purple so that's like a reddy purple that's where's that one well, I can't see see I don't you can't even see that it's dark brown now yeah you can hear my son shouting he's getting angry because <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him you might not be able to um he's getting angry because the internet's not working properly I'm not using the internet at all neither is my husband apart from the tv which uses the internet it's a smart tv um yeah because we can't use use the satellite system because there's trees in the way so we have to get a yeah uh, yes. so there you go look what i'm doing is at the painting circles i'm not even bothering to finish it there cup of tea not even bothering to finish off the circles that's my finishing paint and i think i'll leave it now well, what am i doing now oh i'm going to watch oh ah i didn't even I put that in i'm going to just listen to things while i'm um doing some um painting now i think i can do that because i know i'm going to have the sound on <laughs> there you go so i'm listening to whatever some of those some of those rubbish things i listen to um do one do i mean obviously canadians we don't understand they have some pens right okay look we got what have we got we've got some unique poscas in white We've got better some sharpening the pen. I'm even sharpening them. Oh, sorry, I suppose I'm going to sharpen them more. I do sharpen them, so I'm using white now to paint round the circle. Yeah, so you can hear my son is shouting again. <laughs> Getting angry because the uh, internet's not working. And he's playing a game online. So all I'm doing, look, is putting a um, white border around and then I'm colouring it in the middle there. That's all I'm doing is doing it. Oh, no, I'm deciding. I think I'm deciding things are sticking up, so I'm gluing them down. As I said, that's what I knew I was going to do that. Right, so I'm just doing this. is a uh, purple, actually. It's purple. I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm doing around the edge in brown. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it's brown. Or a brown. And these are actually, once I'm using that, actually watercolour uh, pens, um, pencils. But I don't actually, you can, you can always blend them in if you like, and that's fine. No reason why you can't blend them in. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, so I'm just drawing a circle now. I don't even follow all the circles. It's just, this is just a general idea. And then I'm doing different, so it's nice to have different size circles next to each other. I found that with my, with another one I've done. Um, yeah, so you've got different size circles next to each other. I'm doing little, um, points now um little sh triangle shapes just around the edge of each one and now i'm going around the edges with those okay and then i'm sticking it down again because there's another bit sticking up <laughs> i thought i'd do it as, as i went along yeah it does it, you can see where some of the paper joins but that is just part of the design it's really nice yeah i'm going around the edge yeah this is and then i'm going to put green on that one aren't i i think is it green? It's blue, bluey green, yeah. It's like a mallard, in fact. Mallard green, apparently that is, and it's in ink tents. I'm oh, doing a sharp, the sharpie. Um, I think it's the Amazon sharp version of sharpie. What are we doing here? Oh, I'm doing that thing, yeah. Oh, oh this is really good. So you just um start going around the edge, and then you'll probably see the pattern in a minute. It's like a rose. It's a bit like, bit like a rose, but I'm doing it white. <laughs> so I, I did a look, and it looks so nice white. So I'm just pulling all that in white. So you see how good these uniposcas are for, for being opaque. So you've got to shape them to get the colour down. Don't keep pressing the pressing the point because it uh, all you do is flood flood everywhere, which is fine if you want to make a random design on your paper but uh, you might not always want to do that yeah then i'll do some i think after this i'll do some uh, purple lines in a minute over there i don't know if it's the same in a minute right now that right, purple yeah I'm looking for purple <laughs> so i'm going around that one going around some of the edges yeah going around some of the edges too And then I'm just doing some some of them are going to be purple lines, some of them are left blank uh, white. Okay, so I think that looks really nice, doesn't it? That one. And then I'm going to yeah, I don't know if I've, I've already done it, but I've got I've got white around the edge of that one. 
Oh, there's another one. See, I'm not even using part of the circle. I don't have to be circles either. So I'm looking at any odd shape you like. It's just doodling. I'm going, uh, that looks like it's a brown pen. And I'm doing some white circles. And I'm colouring in around the white circles now. Yeah, so... Yeah, following. See, you see some of that. I think in fact most of that tight. Oh no, just where the circles are. So I'm going to go around it in, and that must be a brownish colour. Then I go around it in a sharp. Oh, this is an actual sharpie now. Yeah, so I go around them. Then I just start putting dots all over it. Yeah, I'm sharpie. Yeah, I think I put this. I just put this on. Oh, this is my favourite. Oh, these are my favourite ones. And that, um, no, that's crown. And a green paint. Well, no, it's not. It's green crayon. So I've just coloured some of it, and I've left the middle. I've gone around the edge in like pinkish and greenish, and in the middle I've left sort of white. So I'm colouring that in. That's a brown uni Posca. And I've just drawn those plant things. All you've got to do for the plant things is draw like a wavy line and put stalks and blobs on it and that's it you've done it and then you go around it in that white and it looks amazing i don't even bother to, to um make it go come, the light come from one direction it looks like the light's in front of it actually the way that is it's got like a halo the plant looks like it's got a halo around it yeah i'm doing little dashes now around the edge yeah it looks really good Okay, and I'm drawing a circle there. Which one am I doing? Um, this is the, I think I'm doing like a brick effect. So I'm just doing two lines, just drawing two lines around the just doing brick effect, doing it in um, brown and then green. And now I'm doing, just going around the edge like cement, like the, like I'm doing like an arch. And there, and then I'm going to put some circles. I think oh look, I'm just doing that first. Yeah, there you go, around with the Amazon Sharpie. Yeah, there we go. And that's all I've done. See that it, it's just very, very effective. Now I'm doing circles, little round discs, and now I'm going, oh, oh I didn't know I did that. Oh yeah, I did that. And I'm doing like and now it's coming. And I'm just I think I'll leave that as it was as the as the um uh, watercolour was. Oh that was another thing I did. <laughs> I noticed that my video started doing better when I spelt watercolour the American way. If you saw my watercolour one of my wa so I'm gonna spell my watercolour American the American way when I do this one as well because it seemed to do better obviously a lot of my pe uh, a lot of people are from America and they thought what they're probably thinking to themselves what on earth is this you in this in the word color <laughs> does it actually say color so that one's um a quite an effective one it's a pink pinky purple so it's something I added yeah, I'm just doing little dashes towards the middle of each one that's like quite quite 3d doesn't it doesn't from here but from here from looking at the from doesn't actually when i'm looking at the paper but it does when i'm looking at the screen looks quite 3d um see that's not a circle you don't have to do circles as i say you can do any shape you like so if it doesn't come like a perfect circle <laughs> in fact it looks better when it's not perhaps uh, so if you've got two things the same size and you think, oh, we'll make them one into a not a circle, I think. Because that's what I should have done with one of mine somewhere. It's not in this one, it's on another one. Okay, so I don't do this all on screen. This is all on. Um, look at me chattering away and it's tw been 24 minutes of me gabbling. It's actually not all that time, have I? <laughs> it's not all, all gabbling, is it? Right, uh, yeah, this one. Oh, this one's a good one. I'll do points on that. Have I done that? Have I done the points? So I'm just doing a, oh, doing, doing a circle, a circle. You don't have to join them up straight away. Oh, I think, is this the one with the flowers? No. Oh, it might be. Um, Yeah, I think this is the one where I do the flowers. Looks like it. 
So I'm going around, all I'm doing is going around the edge and I'm going to do five petal flowers. I've showed you how to do those before. You just do a, a body and you do like a head, two arms and two legs to make the, the five petal flower. So it's basically doing a stick man. You can draw a stick man. You can draw five petal flowers. So you just body, head. I need to have my head, the head bit facing upwards anyway, whichever way around I'm doing it. <laughs> By the looks of it, yeah, sure, I do. And then I'm going to colour in with the green. Um, this is an Arteza green um, watercolour pen. I'm not even using it, this is a watercolour pen. And I'm coming along and just come along, going ahead, going ahead and coming along. <laughs> and I just put just paint it and see the head look, um, the shadow. Um, I don't even know that. That's I've got a light, I must have a light on point yeah mm, yeah just colouring them in white and um I'm doing, I think I do like things around it yeah each one's got a oh I'm going around it in white and then I'm just doing little dashes in between each flower it's really nice actually it looks nice from here I don't know about I don't, that's not one of my favourite designs but it does work Oh yeah, I've put in a bit of, and then I'm just doing a spiral in the middle there. Mallard green and a spiral. Oh, I couldn't find my um, khaki green. I would have used that if I could find it. I found it now. It's just away in my, just somewhere where I couldn't see it. You know, as you do. Yeah, I've turned it around so obviously I'm not doing things all the same way around. Things like that. Oh, let's turn this around. So, oh, I like that one there. That one that's not the circle shape. That one with the... Um, Bit like a moon, piece of moon, didn't it? <laughs> okay, the one I'm next to the one I'm doing now. This is a brown, quite a few, just lines really, and just uh, some um, triangles coming off it. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, so that's it. So, as I say, it's just blobs, circles, dots, and um, yeah, blobs, circles, dots, and lines. Yeah. All I'm doing that's all doodling is. I noticed when I was um, first, you know, doing YouTube and that when I first started doing it, I thought, oh, it's just dot circles. Actually, I think I got that idea from Pam at the Paper Outpost. I think she said something similar, but I've sort of adopted that and you know, expanded on it somehow. Yeah, so. I think she said something very similar to that. Okay. If you've got this far, I think it's very good because, you know, it's quite fascinating, which I've done a little bit more, I think, um, off camera. I think I don't think I did that purposefully. Did, that, did it just suddenly appear? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to... Um, yeah, so this is actually four times as fast. Oh, and that's all I'm doing up is doing little boulders inside the, and I'm not, then I'm, all I'm doing now is going around the edge with, where is that one? I can't see it on here. Bold, I like doing that one. That was quite good. Oh, yeah, it was found it. It's, I must have turned it round, have I? Yeah, it's just boulders. It looks like, it looks like it's actually see-through. So the thing I do around it is not a circle at all. It's more like a, a rope. <laughs> It's got yeah, the see it's just colour see through it. I'm just using it basic so and it looks amazing when you've got you see the words through it. That one, um the one with the plant, the one just above that, I love that one with the uh large print. Okay, oh I've done another I've done like a rose as well. I've done another rose. That one with the black and white border. That's like I think that's got a ro like a rose thing in it. It's quite easy to do. Just what I do is draw a circle, then just keep drawing lines around it and join it back into the circle. I think I've got. I might have a video on drawing flowers that probably about well over a year old. <laughs> I've got some. Um, what's what are those? Oh yeah, I'm doing more plants now. Uh, plants is um, that's there. I should have turned it right round. Right, a plant um, is just massive, massive black leaves. 
and then going around it in green, um, that, that R2's are green. Where the other crayons all are, I've only got greens, greens and browns out. <laughs> what was I talking about? Um, I can't remember what I was talking about now. Anyway, very good, very good. I'm just hoping there's no buzzing on this. There wasn't as I tested it. Right, so, and that's your Uniposca in, that's like a large, that looks like a 3M Uniposca. Yeah, and I'm going round that in a brown. Um, different, under, I haven't got them out on the desk in the box. Um, oh, I'm just doing little dashes all over, so little lines all over there, they can do all that. You can do little tiny crosses as well, things like crosses and lines look nice to fill in a little space. Little tiny plus signs really. Okay, so then I'm going to do, oh, I like this one. Yeah, I'm just doing a um, green, white and black design now. Okay, I'm going to got it in front of me. Now I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? Uh, green, white, and black design. Uh, little circles going round, and then I'm going. Then I go round this. No, I put white inside this little black circles. Now that's what I'm doing now. And I think I decide I want to put white in between as well. Then I decide to do a, continue the design and do it in the middle as well. So a bit bigger, slightly different design in the middle with little dash, little um, lines. I told you lines, that's your lines, that's your circle, doing a circle, lots of lines, circles. Now I'm doing circles around the, no, it's lines I'm doing, sorry. And I decide to do circles as well and go around the edge of those. And then green, and then it's. I don't know if I add white or, or white's already added. I put do put green in the middle of that. Yeah, there. There we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll do put white in. Yeah, I do like a little, don't even do a pop circle, just a little spiral in the middle. That's what I tell you, just nudge that to give me that. I don't know if you can hear that or not. <laughs> I don't know if it's noise cancelling, is it these headphones noise cancelling or not? We're doing it. Oh, that one's a different, that's sort of like the one I've just done, but in brown Posca and white Posca. Okay, it takes on the colour of the uh, paint in the background of watercolour. Yeah, so lots of, well, like that, so lots of circly things, beautiful circly things. Yeah, so that's great, isn't it? And then, there we are. See, that's good. And I've got, oh yeah, more, 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 more. <laughs> there we go. And then I think I add circles to that as well. So I might as well put some white circles on that now. I'm looking, so if you can hear me, I don't know if you can hear me, because I'm looking from, it's like I'm playing tennis. <laughs> I'm looking from, <laughs> not playing tennis, watching tennis. You look from, I'm looking from the, my design to the to the screen, my design to the screen, so it looks like I'm playing, looking, watching tennis. Luckily, nobody else is in the room apart from the dog who's asleep. <laughs> even the cat's not. <laughs> I can't even hear the cat now. I don't know whether she is. She's got my earphones in, yeah. Right. So, round the edges there, I'm going to do some dashes as well. On black, I'm doing some dashes on black. I'm actually doing, um, filling, just doing, and then I'm going to do, yeah, these, like uh, flexes. Right, and then in a minute, I'm going to do dashes the other way. I don't know whether it's show it on screen. Sometimes on oh, 34 minutes, I've got four minutes left. Yeah. This will be longer. Don't take the notice of what the, the number I'm saying because I'm going to put the. Um, I'm going to put a little bit extra at the end, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one's a nice one. Which one is it? I can't see. Oh, it's that one. That's really nice. That is. It's got it's got purples and greens. Mm. Well, you might if you don't like purples, you don't have to use purple. You can use what colour you like. Hold on, I don't know where I am. Oh, it's that one. Looking at the wrong one. <laughs> no, it's not purples and greens. That's the one next to it. Uh, the one with the scribbly bit that I haven't done yet. 
Yes, and then I'm going to do, I don't know if I've done it yet, around the, around the middle. Oh, I think I have. Like just a swirly bit in the middle. Yeah. There you go. Look, I'm doing some dashes. Okay. And then, have I, have I finished it for now? Because I'm thinking, oh dear, I need to go and sit downstairs a bit. I've been upstairs for three hours. <laughs> I don't think it's taken that long. <laughs> It was a bit less than that, but yeah, I do do it quite quick if you notice. Know, it took me uh, about nearly under 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that, that's what I'm doing now. That's one I liked as well. That's got like greens and um, purples in it, and it looks really nice. I'm using the paint that I've painted to draw the design. Not always doing that, but I am sometimes. Oh, look at my t the time. Look at me. Look at the time. Checking the time. I don't know. Come on, what are you doing, woman? You, you're just enjoying yourself. <laughs> right, I'm going around the edge. Doing, doing. I'm doing some little time. Oh, you know. Oh, perhaps I do dots. I think I do black dots and I put white dots on top. I don't know if I've done that already. Probably. This one I'm doing as um, as a massive one. This one ends up to be a massive one. And uh, it's red, brown, black. Oh, and I do I tear it? There's something happens here because I've got, yeah, I think what happens is I tear the paper somehow. And uh, probably the glue, you might see it in a minute. I don't know whether, I think I'll put it, I'll leave it on camera. And that's when I decide, I think that's after that I decide. But I will show you the finished thing. Can you see all the other colours it's got? You can see the purples, yellows, um, like um, oranges, orangey pinks and things there. I've got to the left of these designs I'm doing now, and the brown. So I will be using those as um, designs. Yeah, in a minute. Yeah, so I put water, that's what I do, put water on it. So I do, and then I can't bother to let it dry. And then I think, in a minute, I try and rub something off, I don't know. And then the paper tears, and it's just made a, made a, an interesting design. There we go. What am I doing? Look, see, it's coming off now. So what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm picking it off. I'm trying to glue things down and pick it off. Well, it doesn't matter. It's just added to the design. Don't worry about that. Yeah, it has. And then I'm just sort of like going with the flow here <laughs> and adding to the design. Yeah. So that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've added a bit more white here to rescue it, and then add some dashes of white to that. Yeah, so far, so it's just done. That it doesn't look anything different to what it would have done. Okay, I think I'll leave it to dry and then decide not to go back to it or something like that. Anyway, I think it, this might be the last one I'm doing. Okay, so it's probably different lighting now. <laughs> so what was happening is I was just finishing off uh, just these large, just these circles here. Okay, so that's actually needs sticking down. I can just stick that down. Okay, well, I just say to you, thank you so much for watching. If you've got to the end, well done. <laughs> but, um, you know, at least I do a little bit of a voiceover for you there. Um, if you give me a thumbs up, thank you so much. That's amazing. I hope you can um, join in and have a go. Okay, hopefully your screen's a bit bigger than mine because I could not see it. <laughs> But this is it close up. That's my favourite one with the, you see all the typing. We just put it on two then we can probably say, where are we? That's my favourite one here with all the plants. That's my favourite bit. This is the bit I was talking about with the, all I did was, I don't know, it didn't work very well, but that looks fine. And then, uh, what's the other one I liked on here? I was talking about, well, that, that's the bit that went wrong with all that when I, made it wet made the paper wet and just peeled it peeled it away peeled all the paper away there okay that one looks nice with the different colors uh i like this one with the like it looks like a headline where is it <laughs> this looks like a headline doesn't it oh, that's great doesn't it right okay and that one does two up there i've just stuck it down okay then if you've if you subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. That's amazing. And I will say goodbye now. Oh, look at that one. Just look at that one before we go. 
I love that as well. We've just got that little thing in the middle there. And let's have a look, just have a quick look, see if I can see anywhere. I've just done a little swirl. That one, I've done a little swirl in the middle as well, over the type. You can see what I've done when you look at it close up. Okay then, I'll say bye now and thank you so much.